Hello. Usually, when you uh, open up your, your uh, Cubase project, you were looking at this. Today, what we're going to look at is different workspaces. So, how you can set up your arrange window that suits you best. Uh, now, this is just a guideline. You don't have to follow this exact workspace, but this is what I like to do. So, what I'll do first is put that to after screen. I'll make sure that's working. Because I don't need it the full screen, because it's my arranger. Uh, as, lo as long as I can see enough to arrange my little different things, I'll be alright. Um, so what I could do then is... What we're going to do first, actually. Workspace. New workspace. I'm going to call it Composing. So this will be for, for when I compose things. <coughs> so again, I, go, I went to Windows, Workspace, so I'm on Composing now, yeah? Um, what I want to do is open a mixer. So generally your mixer might look like that, but sometimes people by default it's got everything on. So you can see like your EQs and whatnot. So you can just close them down by clicking the down arrow at the side. Go to there and get your VST, this little magical little folder. So anytime we need need a VST instrument now, we don't have to be pressing F11 or going up to devices. We just go boosh, click the boosh. It's there. Okay. Um, last but not least, a media bay. So delete that. We'll put our media bay down there. Let's say it fits nicely. Bring that up there. All about straightness. Okay, so you could, yeah, so when you search stuff, you can search for anything. Say you wanted different drums, you can go on drums. Yeah, so by using this, you've got all your audio samples here, you've got your MIDI instruments here, you've got your mixer for when you have to mix. So I've dropped it, that's dropped it in, so I could go, all right, actually, let's just play that too loud. Do you know what I mean? I've got access to everything I need right there. <clears throat> right then. Okay, so we've we've already gone workspaces, uh, our, uh, new workspace, so that's how we've got it there. What we want to do is lock this active workspace. Yeah. Um, and organize this. So to put to save that as a global one, meaning that anytime we open QBase we can have this there, you just click it to go over and click OK. Right, -o. <clears throat> so what might happen is you might move stuff because you might be looking for something, you might have something on your desktop and you might be looking, alright, OK, there's, cube, uh, there's reason, right, -o. so what you need to do then, you can just go and click on it again, bang, it puts it all back in order. So you can see the advantages of working with a workspace like this. Uh, have a creator one, see how you feel. Uh, just a quick one, you might, if you was doing a one for just mixing, that might be longer. You might have a transport bar like that. That might be longer. You might have a... What else might you have? Yes, to your performance. Right there, so you can see what's going on, what kind of room you have. So when you um, putting in all your stereo tracks, say you've got not twenty eight, not twenty eight. So you've got my stereo tra tracks there. It's all done. So again, what I do, easy, workspaces, new workspace. I call it mixing. Uh, again, you've just got to lock your workspaces. Lock active workspace. So if I want to go back to the other one, the compose, and it brings all that back up. Back to mixing. So, yeah, have a go. It's just about, it's just little things you can do just to organise your work. You know what I mean? Um, 
So yeah, have a go. Thanks for listening.